Welcome to Ask the Experts. Today we are joined by Nick Bublitz, Global Product Support Specialist. Hey Nick, how are you? Hi Ian, I'm doing great, thanks. Good, thanks for joining us today. You're in training this week, well you're doing training this week with uh, our Corrosion Inspection Solutions. Hi. And I thought it would be a great time for you to actually talk to us about uh, some of our solutions. Traditionally, what type of corrosion solutions did we have? Well, most of our customer base is doing one of two things. Um, we have a 38D of plus, which you're very familiar with here. It's been one of our long, long gauges of providing thickness gauges to our customers. And this is usually done either a single point measurement or we take multiple point measurements. We can actually data log them into a database and use that data for uh, the remaining wall loss. Um, and then on the high end of the market, typically what they've been used to is um, very rapid, fully automated scanners connected to a uh, PC-based, typically um, corrosion mapping system. Sure. And this would typically use a dual crystal and a very high-speed XY raster arm. So this is really what our customer base has been used to until recently when Olympus launched some new phased array solutions. And how are we using phased array now for uh, corrosion? Well, the main benefits we get out of phased array is, one, increased coverage, obviously. If we can have a 64-element probe, um, something that can provide a much larger um, coverage base than a single conventional or dual crystal, we get increased coverage, even if we just fire those beams at zero degrees. Um, the other one is the flexibility of phased array. Um, we have the ability to steer beams at different angles. Um, we have the flexibility to change the focus spot. Um, so sometimes if we have a certain area that we think that corrosion might exist or a secondary scan, we could actually refocus the beam sometimes in the depth act just to get a better profile. Uh, and then we just had the flexibility of uh, being able to program it directly on the instrument. So we have things like multi-group where we could actually have different setups, some at multiple angles, some at zero degrees. So phase array really just offers quite a bit of benefits. And then probably the one that really hits home and makes it a home run for most of our customers is data density. Okay. So data density means basically um, when we only take a single point measurement, we're only measuring what's directly below that transducer. We're not getting very many hits on any single point of corrosion. But the way phase array works, we actually interleave many beams across this two-inch transducer. We actually get many, many data points on that corrosion, and we have a lot more data to really correctly assess the, uh, the amount of corrosion or the, the extent of the damage, if you will. Sure. Now, what type of solution, what solutions do we have for phase array and corrosion? Yeah, that's a really good question because, uh, you know, a couple years ago, we launched our first phase array solution, which was the Hydroform. Sure. And now, just a couple years later, we actually have four or five different things that the customer can actually buy from us and couple with our different phased array instruments. So it might be getting kind of confusing for them at this point. Um, they all work on a, on a fundamentally different basis and they can kind of be interchanged. But we have things like the hydroform. So the hydroform is a water base, so we actually use water as the column. Okay. And then it has basically different sealed gaskets, depending if we're going around the actual or the circumference of the pipe. We can trade out some plates and actually form a seal and use water as the coupling path. And the advantage of using this solution is it can be hooked onto scanners and do very rapid XY scanning, either automated or semi-automated. But the real benefit and why we use water is sometimes we have pieces of metal that the condition, obviously, as our customer knows, isn't always like it comes out of a manufacturing plant. Sure. Um, these have varying amounts, and we still want to UT prep this a little bit, but the, the water path type um, concept allows us to get good data even if the condition of the surface maybe is not as good as it could be or we'd like it to be. Absolutely. Um, some of the other kind of on the other higher end of the application, and this goes back to the conventional acoustics, um, most of our uh, in-field service people, especially in the oil and gas market, they often use a dual crystal UT probe. Okay. Sure. And some people might know the reason, some people might not, but that's really an acoustic thing. Um, if we pitch at a roof angle where it sends with one crystal and you receive with the other, yep. we're actually able to get better what we call near surface resolution. And the only way to really do that is not fire directly at zero and use this concept of a dual crystal going back to the conventional ultrasonic theory. And what it allows us to do by using our DLA probe here is actually we have one line of phased array elements and then another line of phased array elements. And this allows us to do that roof angle pitch catch. So if we have a corrosion cell very near the surface, it's not going to be um, lost in an interface signal and we should have a better ability to be able to resolve it. So we kind of have a different portfolio following on the traditional conventional knowledge of how we know ultrasound works for corrosion. We've just applied it in different ways across our phase array line. Absolutely. Um, any other benefits that uh, our customer coming from conventional to phase array would uh, gain from uh, doing corrosion with phased array? Yeah, that's one interesting thing that we didn't really, well, we, we worked it into the product, but we didn't know it would have so much success as we thought it would. It is actually it's an increase in safety. Um, if, if you want to get high-end, you want to collect, a, say, a whole storage tank, 
and you want to do that in a fast manner, you have to either buy the, the equipment or have a service company come in and do very fast, rapid um, scanning with a conventional scanner. And the only way to be efficient and get the job done is to move at very high speeds. Right. Well, most of these refineries and these other industries we work in, they're actually very focused on safety. Yep. So they have guards over every moving part and this kind of thing. Yeah. And the fact that with phased array, if we can cover 12 times the amount of distance in every movement that we're going by using a wider probe with overlapping beams, we can actually move at a much slower rate and still get 12 times as much coverage in a single pass, as well as uh, much more high data point density, which allows the end user to really analyze that data, have a bunch of hits on the corrosion, and be able to make sure that um, he's given the correct assessment back to whoever he provide that report to. So the customer's getting better data, uh, I won't say in an easier way, but in a faster, somewhat faster way, and yeah. Yeah. better, cleaner data. That's exactly right. And then, you know, the benefits with that is, if you buy a thickness gauge, it's basically for zero degree corrosion measurement. Okay. If you get a corrosion service using a conventional XY, conventional uh, automatic scanner, it's all it does. Right. With the phased array, the OmniScan type platform, you can go buy a phased array probe for that and go out and do a weld inspection sure. service. Yeah, it's a fully flexible instrument. If you want to do TOF the next day, you can do TOF. And yeah. It's a highly portable package. You could use the SX, have something like the DLA probe here with an encoder built in or an XY scanner, you know, two Pelican cases, and you're able to provide a whole level of phased array field services. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope the rest of your training goes well, and I really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, and thank you for joining us. If you have any questions about our products, uh, please visit olympus-ims.com or visit us on our social media channels. Thanks.